Ah. Right guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over my running shoe rotation. In last week's video, we set a light goal, see if this video was wanted. We smashed the light goal, so I'm gonna bring this video to you today. I'm gonna to split this video into two parts. One part is gonna to be today's video, which is gonna be on road running shoes. So we're gonna go through my full road running shoe rotation. And the second part is gonna be on my trail running shoes, and that'll be next week's video. So this week, you'll get road running. Next week, you'll get trail running. And I know a lot of my videos at the minute are sit down and talking based. And the main reason that is, is just because lockdown. I'm really struggling to get some of the ideas done for the channel just because of lockdown and lack of either people to film because a lot of it's filmed on my own which makes things very difficult in situations. It's quite hard to do some of the ideas I have when I can't actually access certain points or certain places to do the videos. So in today's video, we are gonna be featuring three different types of road running shoes. I only have three pairs or four pairs that I use mainly. Um, this is because, as you guys know, a lot of my stuff is done on trail uh, because I'm an OCR runner and we run on trail when we race. Like I said in previous videos, I'm doing a lot more road running at the minute because we don't have access to the trails. So we're gonna break this video down into three shoes in my rotation, which is gonna be number one, my easy runs. So my 30 minute low heart rate, jogs number two is going to be my run workout shoes this is like tempo runs intervals anything with a bit more speed involved or a workout based run what shoes i'd use for them and then finally my kind of daily trainer so that shoe that kind of fits in the middle i can use it for a tempo run i can use it for easier runs steady runs it's kind of a shoe that is good all round um I don't necessarily have a long run shoe because I'll use my kind of daily trainer shoe as my long run shoe. My running rotation is probably a little bit different to pure road runners because like I say, a lot of it is done on trail, so I don't need loads of road running shoes. Okay, so starting with the my easy run shoe, that is the Nike Infinity Reacts. Now this shoe at first, I was a little bit skeptical on. I thought it was just gonna be a shoe that Nike were heavily marketing because they were trying to target non-runners, um, people that are new to running. Um, I didn't necessarily think it would be a runner's shoe because we've seen it in the past with brands, they like to make these shoes kind of for everyone to use or just to market as running shoes but they're not necessarily running shoes they're just to get the people that aren't really runners that just want to run a shoe and to spend some money i must admit since having these shoes i've really enjoyed them there's something about the, the foam that they've used the react foam that's different to any other react foams i've used before i've got some other react shoes that i don't necessarily run in more like just daily wear shoes um and this foam in these shoes is just different. And for an easy running day, it's really nice just to stick these on and I know it's gonna be comfortable and I know I'm gonna be able to run the miles in and not really feel that impact because it just kind of takes all that pressure out of it. I know Nike advertises this shoe as an injury prevention shoe. I mean, I wouldn't go that far because I don't think any shoe can stop you getting injuries. However, I see what they mean is in it kind of takes a little bit less of the pressure away from the joints because it's so soft. And if I just get the shoe, you can see, I absolutely love this shoe. I've worn it so much. You can see how it's pretty battered already. I've done well over 100 miles in this shoe. And one thing I would say is durability. You can see how, I mean, dirty the shoe is, mainly because of winter in England. But, and if we even look at like the rubber in the bottom, there's a little bit of wear, but it's still pretty intact. The, f the whole foam, everything is not doing too bad. It's definitely a durable shoe. Um, I've never had any problems with it either in terms of slipping because this fly knit material without the tongue, sometimes you do get that. But I've never had slipping problems. I've never had any problems of rubbing. It's been a solid, easy run shoe. One thing I would say is definitely not a speed shoe because it takes a lot of pressure away and sinks, and kind of sinks you into the ground. There's no reaction um, in the foam necessarily, which is ironic, um, to speed because it just doesn't want to hit you forward or it doesn't like you 
trying to really push forwards. I mean, if you're running around like a 6.30 minute per mile mark and anywhere kind of above that, it's fine. As soon as you start to creep into the fives, that's when you notice it's like, compared to other shoes, it doesn't really live up to that expectation. So the next shoe in my running rotation for my speed work, my workouts, my tempo runs, is the shoe actually featured in my last video. So this is the Nike Zoom Fly 3. Now I bought this shoe not too long ago. I've probably done 20 miles in it since that last video. Um, so I've done barely any miles in it. I think that's two workout sessions. But I must admit, my first impressions are still really strong with this shoe. I really like it, it's a really comfortable shoe and you definitely feel the benefits of the carbon fibre plate. Another thing I like about this shoe is also the price. For a carbon fibre shoe, it is a decent price and it really does the job when it comes to speed work. I think it could be a good option as well for a lot of people that run races, road races, in like the Alpha Fly, because you'll get used to doing a lot of training runs in a shoe that's kind of similar and then when you go to your races, it's not like putting on some random brand new shoe that you've only worn once. I understand why people do that, but for me I like to get really comfortable with a shoe and this is a good way of getting comfortable with your race day shoe without ruining your race day shoe, if that makes sense. One thing I did want to address as well is what actually a carbon fibre plate is. I had a lot of people um, message me or reach out to me from my last video actually asking me what a carbon fibre plate is. And without going too in detail, it's basically what it says on the tin. It's a carbon fibre plate in the sole of your shoe um, that acts as more of a spring mechanism to kind of propel you forward but also to help direct the energy you produce when you're running therefore supposedly making you be able to run a bit quicker for longer or without getting as tired again i'm not actually totally qualified on the, <laughs> to tell you exactly what the history is of the carbon fiber plate and how scientifically it works but yeah i hope that gives you kind of a basic understanding So now we're gonna move on to the next couple of pairs of my shoes. Uh, the reason I say couple is because I have a few pairs of these. <clears throat> these are actually the Nike Pegasus. So I have the 36s and the 37s. Um, 36s are my favorite shoe. As you can probably tell, they are battered. I still run in these shoes, believe it or not. They've got very high miles in. Um, I couldn't even tell you how high, but years of running in and I still find they're a quality shoe. I generally wear this shoe on my long runs. I feel so, so comfortable in my long runs and I've always never had problems with rubbing or blisters or anything which is which I found with other shoes that I've tried in my long runs. The only downside I find with any Pegasus shoe that I've ever tried is they take me a while to get used to. I think I've mentioned this on my channel before. When I buy a pair of uh, Pegasus, doesn't matter what it is, 36, 37s, turbos, whatever. I always find it takes me a couple months to really get used to them and I really don't like them for the first 50 to 100 miles in them. I just, my feet just don't get on with them. I get aching in my feet, I, I don't find them necessarily that comfy. They don't, they feel hard, they don't feel like they're really soft at all. But for some reason, soon as it hits that like 100 mile, 50 to 100 mile mark, they're my favourite shoe, I can't get enough of them and they're the most comfiest shoe. So what I've had to do is I buy a pair of Pegasus, I then walk, do a lot of walking in them because um, it doesn't have as much strain on my feet. I run some shorter runs in them and then I do a lot of walking. And what I find that does is then helps me basically break them in so that when I'm ready to run in them, they're fine. I've currently been doing that with my pair of 37s. I actually run in these now, uh, but again, they took me a few months just walking and just a little bit of running in them just to get me used to them. And then when I'm used to them, I'm fine. But like I say, once they're, once that's done, they are literally my favorite shoe. I even used to do a lot of my tempo work and a lot of speed work in these shoes because I found that I really enjoyed them for that sort of stuff. I, re I pretty much could wear them for anything and I'd find a benefit with them. And that's another reason I actually keep using them because I know a lot of people will say, well, why don't you just not use them if they take that long for you to get used to. But when I am used to them, I can't get enough of them and they're my favorite shoe. I just wish I had a shoe that were like the Pegasus when I'm used to them 
straight away and they would be my favourite shoe ever, I think. And if you've got any ideas of a shoe that maybe is like the Pegasus but is a little bit easier to get used to, um, let me know down in the comments because I haven't found one yet and that's why I've kept them. But if I could find them, I'd probably trade them out just because of that first couple months or first 50 to 100 miles. So that is my running shoe rotation. I only really use free shoes in my running shoe rotation because a lot of my stuff is done on trail. Like I said, next week's video will be my trail shoe rotation. Uh, so it'll be the second part of this video and it'll be my trail shoes. So if you're interested in that, make sure you hit down the bell below because that bell will notify you when a new video is out. Um, so you'll be able to see that straight away. Also, if you enjoyed this video and you're enjoying the content and can't wait for more content, hit that subscribe button. There will be a lot more content coming soon and we are trying to get to 200 subscribers by the end of this month. That'd be nice. Also, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. With that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.